Hello friends, at the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create a program like this. In this program we have used the property of Jacombo box, which is item state change listener. So please watch this tutorial completely to understand how to populate items in the second combo box depending upon the item selected in the first combo box. Hello everyone, welcome to the programmer's world. In the previous tutorial we learned that how to create a dynamic Jcombo box. And added some items from a database that is, Microsoft access to our Jcombo box. And now in this tutorial we will learn about a property of Jcombo box, that is item state changed listener, and by using the item state changed listener, we will populate some particular items in the second Jcombo box depending upon the item selected in first combo box. So, here in our NetBeans project first of all we will create two J combo boxes. In one we will populate subcontinents and in another we will populate countries, according to the subcontinents selected in the first combo box. And we will also take a J label in which we will display the capital of selected country in the second combo box. Now let's start coding to populate subcontinent in first J combo box from the day tabs. So first of all let me show you a table, which I have created, in which there are three fields, one is subcontinent another is country and last one is capital. You can create this table very easily at your own level. As you can see I am using the code of our previous tutorial, in which we populated data from database to our Jcombo box. So here I will populate subcontinent in my first Jcombo box from the table, which I showed you earlier. Let me run this program, and let's see, what happens. As you see that, subcontinents get populated in in our first Jcombo box. But I want distinct so I will just use distinct keyword in my SQL query. Now it's fine. So now I will write code to populate the countries in the second Jcombo box that is country Jcombo box. To do this, I will create one method. And I will copy the above code, which I wrote to populate the subcontinent, and will modify according to my requirement. So, as you see, I have created one method populate country, which I will use to populate the list of countries. Now when this method should be called, is a trick. 
I will call this method upon when item state of Jacombo box subcontinent will be changed. So let's do it. Here I will write that, if, event.get state changed, is equal to, item even dot selected, then I will store the value of item changed into the subcontinent variable, which I just created earlier. Also I have to empty the country Jacombo box before executing this method. Now let's run this program. As you see, it's working fine. As you see, how we use the item stay to change listener in our program. We'll use it in country combo box also and we'll display the capital of selected country in our J label.
so, here we finished our coding. Now let's test this program. As you can see, how we used item state change listener. You can use this according to your requirement. I hope you like this tutorial. You can create state, capital, or city selection by using this item state change listener very easily. So please give a thumbs up for this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel, if you are really interested in programming. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next tutorial.